Yo, what's up? My name is Petrowski. Welcome back to another region-specific Poke MMO EV training guide. Alright, so if you couldn't already tell, this video is going to be taking place in Hoenn and showing you guys a spot for HP EV training, attack EV training, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed locations all within the Hoenn region. If you don't know what EV training is or don't know the details about it, I'll leave some video links in the description. I'll leave a link to my Kanto EV training guide and to my overall EV training guide, which has the best EV training spots all across the game. But this video is going to focus on being a brief overview and also showcasing the best spot specifically in Hoenn if you so happen to be region locked to Hoenn or maybe you have Hoenn and Unova unlocked or Hoenn and Kanto, but you're kind of missing some of the other regions. Alright, as a quick overview, some of the Pokemon you're going to be needing to EV train within Hoenn are going to be an HM friend alongside an AoE attacking Pokemon. So, having an AoE attacking Pokemon with Surf, level 100, a level 100 Pokemon with Earthquake, and a level 100 Pokemon with Discharge can be super helpful. Sometimes you need one or, you know, one of them for a spot, sometimes you need a couple of them for multiple different spots, but you only need one per spot. Uh, Discharger is probably the best in my opinion because you can use that at most spots and it's only going to be not usable at certain spots where you need to attack ground type so it shouldn't be a huge issue overall. You're also going to need a sweet center to go ahead and get you into those hordes to EV train efficiently. I highly, highly recommend PP Max in your Sweet Scent. You can buy a PP Max on the GTL for around 20k, use it on your Sweet Scent on your Pokemon, and it's going to give you two more Sweet Scents per time you have to heal at the PC, which is a pretty huge increase. It also can be nice to have a Utility Smeargle on you just to, in case you find a Shiny to help you catch it, but honestly, uh, I wouldn't really recommend kind of taking that slot. Uh, when EV training, if you, especially if you have a ton of Pokemon to EV train, it's best to EV train as many Pokemon as possible. And then last thing, of course, you're going to need the Pokemon that you're going to be EV training. This is just uh, like a junk Ninkata that I'm going to be using as an example to show you guys the EVs on the Pokemon, or at least at the spots we're going to be showing you guys today. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into the spots. I'm going to be starting with HP and going down the list. So let's go ahead and head over to the Hariyama spot. Alright, now for the Hariyama spot, it is going to take place here in Evergrande City, right before the E4. So this is a good spot if you're kind of before the E4 or um, after the E4, kind of late game or post game to do some HP EV training. I've actually shown this spot in my like quick best spots in the game. This is, this is actually the best spot in the game to HP EV train. So you're going to come from the Evergrande PC down here, down to this cave, sweet scent within here. It's to make sure you actually step off the first tile. If you're on the first tile, it won't let you sweet scent in this cave. But if you step just slightly off, you can go ahead and throw up that sweet scent. You're going to be encountered by a horde of Hariyama. You're going to go ahead and AoE attack them. I'm going to hit them with a Surf, as you can see. It's going to give my Ninkata 10 HP EVs. So by the end, this Ninkata is going to have 10 EVs in each stat, which is totally fine. I'm just using it to level. But yeah, there we go. That's the HP spot on to attack. Okay, now on to the attack spot within the Hoenn region. It's going to be right here in Fortree City. This is my personal favorite spot. I actually had to do some testing uh, as well as following a couple different spots. Uh, but after some testing and after some community feedback, I want to shout out Alice for this one. I believe she was the one who kind of engineered this one and told me about this spot. And I wanted to test this spot and compare it to another spot at Sky Pillar. And I, I really do think this spot is better. So it's going to be right here to the east of Fortree City and to the east of the special attack spot. I'm going to be showing you guys the Nikita again. And then make sure you're using a special attacker for this spot. This is going to be really important. You're going to, you're going to want a Pokemon with Surf or Discharge, preferably. Uh, you could go like Eruption or something like that, or so any sort of special attacking AoE move, because you're going to encounter Mightyena here. And most of them are going to have Intimidate, which is going to cost a little bit of the, t the battle. It's going to cost a little bit of time. As they kind of have to go through a couple, but it'll actually stop. Uh, it, will, they won't, it won't make you sit through all of the Intimidate animations. So you can go ahead and just surf it while it's still doing them. And then get your EVs. Super nice, super easy, super good spot. Honestly, this is a pretty fantastic spot to have in Hoenn for attack. I thought the spot was going to be a lot worse. Uh, so this is a pretty good, pretty good alternative. Alright, now on to the defense EV training spot within Hoenn. 
Okay, this spot is going to be a little particular in location just because it is going to be at Evergrande City, kind of similar to the Hariyama spot, but it's actually going to be at the Evergrande City entrance. And for those who don't know, Evergrande City actually has two fly points on the map over here to the right. So you can click the top fly spot and get to the Hariyama location, and then you can go down and click the south, little slightly like one pixel one block lower spot and be at the entrance so you're gonna want to be at the entrance make sure you're at this spot also make sure you have a discharger that's going to be crucial uh very important for the spot you're not going to be able to surf down the spot you could probably earthquake it uh or actually no it's gonna be pelipper so you're gonna you're gonna need a discharger uh for the spot you have to have a discharger for the spot super super important so come over here surf here you're gonna want a sweet scent on this water and you're gonna encounter a pelipper he's gonna give 10 defense evs per horde Pretty nice, pretty simple. Pelipper are the best thing about EV training against Pelipper with a discharger is that Pelipper are four times weak to electric. So you can actually use a lot. You can use like a level 50 discharger or something like that and level it up throughout EV training. Uh, you don't need a level 100 Pokemon to use discharge, which is super nice because they're going to be four times weak to electric. So you're pretty much always going to one shot all of them. It's just so much damage. But yeah, here's the Ninkata after that. Pretty great spot. Pretty nice. Super close to a PC. So one of the better spots, honestly. All right. And here we are back at Four Tree City for the special attack spot. So this spot is actually uh, very, very good. And I think I talked about it in my best EV spots video. You're going to need to get off your bike, though. To remember that remember get off your bike to enter this patch of grass go ahead and sweet scent in this patch of grass and you're going to encounter gloom uh it's probably best to i mean surf earthquake discharge whatever you want on these gloom anything's going to work even though discharge and surf are going to be not very effective on them i'm pretty sure uh they're just so low level around level 23 where it's not going to matter as long as your pokemon's a decent level so it's pretty nice pretty easy Go ahead and get those 10 special attack EVs on your Pokemon. Super, super close to a PC, which is one of the best parts. So, super nice spot. Okay, on to the special defense spot. It's going to actually be here at the Battlefront tier, which I believe is post-game. But there are actually, it's going to be Tentacruels, and there are a ton of Tentacruel spots in the game. But this spot is kind of infamous or famous, I guess, in the game. Uh, it's one of the best special defense EV training spots in the game, as well as being one of the best XP spots in the game. So you can use this to grind for XP if you're in Hoenn alongside uh, grinding for EVs. So you want to start here at the Battlefront tier PC, head east. Head right over here, surf on this water. You can see a ton of people are here. Uh, and go ahead and uh, sweet scent here. So you're just going to sweet scent here and counter a horde of tentacles every time. Go ahead and get those 10 special defense EVs per thing. You're going to need a decently high level discharger uh, to do this horde and to do this spot because they are level 40, you know, 47 to 50. Uh, pretty high level tentacle. All level 46 to 50 between, I believe. There's 3k XP for my Ninkata. Pretty good XP on top of 10 special defense EVs. Pretty beautiful stuff. Very great spot. Useful. Even if you're not region locked into Hoenn, this is a spot that everyone comes to. So that's just how good it is. So Hoenn's also a great spot for EV training. If you're if you're if you're region locked to Hoenn, it's a pretty good it's a pretty good region to be locked into. Um, probably the worst region would be Sinnoh, which is going to be a dreadful video to make. But Hoenn is definitely one of the better regions to be locked into. All right, and now on to the final EV spot for this video, which is going to be speed. It's going to be taking place right here around Lily Cove City. So make sure you can fly here, be on your bike, uh, and head west. Don't get blocked by NPCs. And it's actually going to be right here in this patch of grass, which is a pretty good spot, pretty close to a PC. You're going to be encountering Linoon here. I actually led my party wrong. I have my smear girl in the front of my party instead of my Dragonite. That's a mistake. One sec. Anyways, you're going to be encountering Linoon here, and they're going to give two speed EVs per Pokemon. So, you know, the, the typical, the desired uh, 10 speed EVs per horde. Go ahead and check our Ninkata beforehand, and then surf them down. There you go, 10 speed EVs on our Ninkata. Our Ninkata is perfectly even across the board. And this is a pretty good spot. I actually thought the speed spot would be a little awkward for Hoenn, but I was surprised to find... This spot was pretty dang nice, so pretty pretty lucky with that. But anyways, that wraps up everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. Subscribe for more PokeMMO daily content. Ring the bell for notifications on all those new videos and new uploads. Thank you guys so much for your time. Uh, let me know if this video helped you in the comments below. And thank you for your time. I just really appreciate it. Uh, join the Discord below in the social media section uh, in the description. 
the discords where they've been popping off and forming and building. And there's some really cool people in there, uh, some really smart people who also love this game. So if you have questions, need advice, uh, want to, just want to interact with people who also love this game, go ahead and join the Discord. Also follow me on Twitch and Twitter if you want to see me occasionally stream. And then retweet RuneScape memes on Twitter. Anyways, thank you guys so much. Peace and love. Petrowski.